Juni is JetBrain's new coding agent, and it is a whole new way of working with AI to write code for you. It will blow your mind. Juni will take simple prompts and do massive amounts of work for you. It's not just a productivity boost, it's a new way of writing code. Let's take a look. Let's begin with a fresh Go project that contains only the default settings. We'll ask Juni to build a simple e-commerce app using Go and SQLite with basic features like creating, reading, updating, and deleting data. Make sure to write tests and document how everything works, please. Now we'll give Juni some time to work. So while we're waiting, how about I show you how to actually install Juni in Goland? First, go to the settings, plugins, then search for Juni in the marketplace section, hit install, and you're good to go. Now we will ask Juni to create an HTTP file for testing APIs directly within the IDE. Juni has finished, so let's take a look. Without any manual interference, Juni created CRUD screens to interact with the e-commerce app, wrote tests, and got the APIs working. The test passed successfully, exactly as we instructed. Now, looking at the code, Juni used REST to build the APIs, which is a reasonable default choice, but I personally would have liked this project to use gRPC. So let's write a new prompt asking Juni to include gRPC endpoints, generate protocol buffers, and ensure that both REST and gRPC work together seamlessly. This time, I will uncheck the Brave Mode option. With the previous prompt, with Brave Mode enabled, Juni worked without ever interrupting. With the option now unchecked, Juni will ask your permission when it performs operations like deleting files or running terminal commands. Whenever this happens, you can click the file to open Golan's diff viewer and see the work that Juni did. And you can revert the changes when needed. I'm not sure how to fix this error. Let's ask Juni for some help. Juni's done, everything's fixed. Let's run the application. Previously, we started with clean projects and then we asked Juni to do its thing. But what about existing projects? This repo is outdated. So I'm going to update all of the dependencies listed in the GoMod file. While Juni is working on that prompt, let's mention a special file you can add to your project. This is juni slash guidelines.md. In this file, you can add whatever global guidelines you would like within your project. For example, I could have written Always use Jin Framework for backend code, and Juni wouldn't have picked Bootstrap to begin with. You can add whatever you want in this file, from project-specific guidelines to code style expectations. These are instructions, and Juni will take it all into account. One last time, Juni is done. Let's take a look at the GoMod file, and it looks like all the dependencies have been updated and the tests have passed. Personally, I was blown away by what Juni can do already, and how much potential there is to explore this new way of programming. Juni makes it so that I can outsource most of the boring stuff and focus on the interesting code that I enjoy. The best advice I can give you is to try Juni out for yourself and get a feel for how it can help you. Enjoy.